Greetings, all. So one of the things that gets asked most when talking about playing random videos from folders is how to play all of the videos from that folder instead of just one. So I decided to give that a go. And by give that a go, I mean Hustle Crow wrote some C-sharp code to make that work. I just cleaned up the code a bit so that I could share it with all of you because that's what we do it for. This works the exact same way the Walk On Videos 2.1 setup does, so if you've watched that video, you should be pretty comfortable getting this one done. And if you haven't watched that video yet, well, you should still be just fine because I'll be going through everything all over again. Ready? Cool. The first thing we are going to do for this is download the DLL needed to make the C Sharp code be able to detect the duration of our media files and then show and hide them accordingly. Click the link in the description below to get that downloaded. Alternatively, if you don't trust random downloads from random sites, you can grab this file from my Discord in the OBS help channel. Once you have that file downloaded, you're going to want to open your StreamerBot install location, open the DLLs folder, and then place the file you just downloaded inside there. Now you can close that folder but keep File Explorer open because we are going to add our media location before we get into setting anything up inside of OBS or StreamerBot. For your media file location, I suggest creating a folder wherever you keep your stream assets for OBS. I've said it a few times and I'll continue to say it always. Keep all of your OBS and stream assets in one location because it's smart. Once you've decided on a location for your new folder, create a folder named Clips and then open it. Inside of that folder is where you are going to put any of your media files you want this to play. Now that we have all of the backend stuff set up, we can get OBS and StreamerBot set up. Firstly, open up OBS and create a new scene named Clips. Inside of the scene, add a media source and name it Clip player. Keep the boxes for local file and refresh when source becomes active checked and then click OK. Right click the source and go to transform and then click set to full screen. Then turn the source visibility off and lock the source. After that you just need to nest this scene into your main scene and set the scale and position to something that you like. And then you can turn off the visibility for that and lock that as well. And that is everything we need done inside of OBS. So now we can move over to StreamerBot and get going. First thing you need to do inside of StreamerBot is set up the variables that are going to tell the C Sharp code where to find Waldo. So at the top of StreamerBot, click the variables button and then right click inside of there to add a new variable. Our first variable only needs to be set up if you didn't do the walk on videos 2.1. If you did that, you don't need this. First variable's name is going to be base path and the value will be the location you placed your clips folder in. Make sure to put a backslash at the end of the location. It's important. Our second variable's name is clip folder with a value of clips. The third variable is named clip player and the value is clip player. The fourth is named clip scene with a value of clips. The final variable is named video scene with a value of your main scene in which you nested the clips scene. We got all that? I hope so. If not, they're all listed down in the description below just because maybe that's easier. With all of our variables set up and everything else done, the last thing we need to do in StreamerBot is create our action. So, as hard as this is going to be, just uh, bear with me. All you have to do is copy the code from the description below and then click import inside of StreamerBot, paste that string into there, and then click the import button at the bottom. 
Yep. Finally, newly created action inside of Streamer Bot containing the C sharp code. And to the right in the triggers box, add any trigger of whatever kind you want to trigger the action. Then double click the C sharp code to open it. And at the bottom, click the find references button. Then click save and compile. And that's it. You're done. Now, whenever this gets triggered, it will play all of the videos in the folder that you set up. It's perfect for highlights, intro compilations, or whatever you can think of. I hope this video finds all of the people that have ever asked for something like this in any location, Discord, otherwise, and I hope it helps everyone interested. If you do find this video helpful and enjoy making a humble clown like myself smile, please click that like button. And if you would like to be extra awesome, consider subscribing to the channel for even more informative videos. If you have any questions or requests for future tutorials, please leave them in a comment below or come by a Twitch stream and ask me one on one. I go live every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you find fun ways to use this. And until next time, take care and stay safe. See you. <laughs>